Uh, all right, folks, welcome to the next show of uh, Along the Seam. This is called uh, The Cricket Fix, show number two. I hope some of you had a chance to see the show uh, here and show the, see the show last week. Uh, we're back, and we have some interesting topics again. Um, and we have our panelists. This time, Arpit will join us. Hey, Arpit, how's it going? Good morning, guys. Uh, Bharat, what's up, dude? Good morning. Vid Vijay, all, hey, how's it all going, good? man? Very good. good. Cool. Good. All right, super. We'll start the show this time. Uh, with our latest piece, uh, as it was a pretty controversial week, we were, uh, as cricket fans, pretty fixated on this whole IPL uh, mat, uh, spot fixing story. And when a big test player like uh, Shrisant is involved, there's always um, a lot of interest. Uh, of course, there are two other guys in there, but it's really Shrisant who is, uh, you know, demanding all the uh, all the publicity here. So we had a piece written by Vijay. We'll go straight to him. Uh, it was it was a very good piece. It was uh, funny. And, and kind of a very good summary of um, of this whole mess that Sri Shant has made for himself. I think the deal with uh, Sri Shant is that it's a, it's a measure of how you know how poorly we sort of see him, how how you know I mean how stupid the whole situation is that we don't even give him the benefit of doubt. That's pretty much why I made it a sardonic, sarcastic sort of piece. Um, I didn't see the point in sort of you know making a summary in a very uh, straightforward traditional uh, sense. So. I think the point is that you know we are all sick of uh, everything that Shrishant has done uh, over the past five years, and uh, you know this is really the sum. You know this is really the the sum of everything that he's done. So. Yeah, that, that's you know that that's exactly how what the piece was about, Vijay, and it was very well written. Uh, Bharat, let's let, let me go to you. Um, is this is this comical now? Isn't it, Shrishant? Is just what is he doing? If you know if this is true to start with. You know, I, I think I think his cost was uh, lost. Uh, you know, just uh, the last series, um, and I, I yeah, he probably thinks there's nothing to lose. Uh, the very nice article by uh, Siddharth Monga. Um, I, I don't know, Vijay, if you read that, but uh, yeah, you know, I read that uh, yesterday. Yeah, it's yeah, a great so piece. Yeah. It's titled "The Talent That Didn't Know Its Own Worth." Yeah. Uh, and, and you know, I, I saw some very neat parallels between this and uh, and your your uh, your writing. Right. It was, was a very funny take on, on on this idea. But I guess both of you are making the same point um, that this is an incredibly talented uh, individual, but clearly, you know, he could have gone uh, the distance. Yeah. Right. So, um, Arpit, we 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 had a, one of the most interesting uh, comments for me was Sunil Gavaskar, who said that. Sri Sant is always looking for 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 basically attention. He's attention seeking. Is that what what happened here? Did he lost kind of his place in the Indian team, and he had to do something. I think this was more than that. But uh, Sri Sant has always been a drama queen, if you will, uh, on the field, off the field, IPL, <clears throat> not IPL, with this whole Harbhajan Harbhajan thing, where he created. I mean, I don't know what happened there, but it was all. He, as Vijay had mentioned rightly in his article, he is an attention seeker. Uh, well, I was quoting Gavaskar, but uh, was that? I was quoting Gavaskar, but absolutely. I mean, I agree. Yeah, with but he's a, he's an attention seeker on and off the field. I mean, even when like he's out, and when he was friends with Dhoni or something, I guess he he thought he he is the best guy and he is the talent. I mean, everything revolves around him. Uh, and granted, he is a talented guy, uh, but all these other things just take over. Uh, right. right. I mean, I, I, I've, uh, he's, he has been the best swing bowler I've seen with who has some pace after Zahir Khan. Uh, and on his day, he can be lethal. But in fact, I was thinking that just before this article came out, I was talking to guys, this guy the other day. I was hoping that he would make it to the World Cup squad. But I guess... <clears throat> Yeah. No, not not uh, anymore. But the Champions uh, League thing? No, no, no. I was thinking about he'll make it to the World Cup squad. 2000, uh, two thousand two thousand and fifteen. Yeah. Oh, okay. That that okay. was my hope. I mean, it was. Yeah. My you think you're matured like Zahir Khan? You know, matured. Right. Just and, the, yeah, the yeah the give him some chance, build him because uh, for the seeming conditions that they'll be facing in Australia and New Zealand, I thought he will be good. But I mean, it's all. It's the all Champions good. Trophy is next month, but I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, he's, he's more Champions. of a more of a lang, uh, sorry, long term month. Right. right. I mean, my, my hope was that he would be selected for uh, South Africa, actually. I mean, he's actually had the experience, uh, previous successes there. Um, right. Because I think his, his one-day stock is completely gone. His test 
I mean, he hasn't played a test match since 2011, I think. So, I mean, there was absolutely no way. Uh, I think in September 2011, I can't really remember, but uh, he hasn't played in ages. And the one day things, again, I mean, he's, he's just deteriorated like crazy. I mean, like over right. the past two years. And, you know, it must have, if, he's, if it's true, it seems like what's happened is that, you know, he's just decided this is it. I'm not really going to, you know, it, it almost suggests that, you know, yeah. this is it. I'm not going to get anywhere else. And who else would do this? I mean, it's insane. Right. Yeah, I, uh, I, I've seen a couple of his games on IPL and he, or when he bowled good balls, they were really good balls. I mean, he still had the swing and pace, uh, but then at the same time, he used to bowl. It would be hilarious if he bowled well by accident. <laughs> um, you know, what so, would have happened if these guys, what would have happened if these guys, you know, like, bowled a bad ball? And the guy got out. I mean, what would happen? I mean, would the, would the mafia come after these guys if they're involved? I mean, well, I mean, you know, we, 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 we focus on Ashri Sant here, but, you know, there are two other guys involved also. There's, you know, Ajit Chandela and, and then Ankit Chawan. Now, granted that the other two were not big names, but listen, this is, this is a bigger pool, guys. I mean, Bharat, what does this do to the morale of, of the Jaipur, the, the Rajasthan team? Um, only Sri Sant, I guess, was uh, all three of them played a few games, but it's the whole cohesiveness, isn't it, Bharat? What do you think? Yeah, it must be terrible to be uh, round of it, uh, you know, right now. Um, but I, I think uh, more than Sri Sant, the other two, uh, especially Chandila, probably had uh, you know a greater role to play in uh, in Rajasthan's uh, uh, you know next few games. Um, so I, I think it's a big loss. And you kind of saw that in the last game, right? They they uh, they, they didn't seem like they were they were there. Uh, they were not in the moment. They kind of lost uh, key moments, and so it's, it's a definitely a factor. I think uh, if this controversy was not going on, they would have probably had a, a a little better chance of making it to the top two. Yeah, that's that's a very good point. I mean, so so with that said, uh, Vijay. Um, what what if this guy is, let's say for some reason not guilty, right? He he comes up because he guys is a great lawyer and then somehow gets out of this. What's next? I mean, is this the end of the road for Sri Shank? Yes, I don't think people will take him seriously. His credibility will have uh, you know. I mean, whether he comes out you know looking good or not, I mean, unless something insanely dramatic happens, uh, and I don't really see that happening. Sri Shant is a lost talent. I mean, I honestly hope. He isn't because he's one of the one of the greatest finds for uh, Indian fast bowling over the past ten years, I think. And uh, it would be a tragedy, but I think he's lost. Uh, I don't think there's any way back because people aren't going to take him seriously anymore. I imagine. I think his only scope is to become a MP in uh, in Kerala. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I mean. Uh, I, yeah. Just to sum it up, I, I I'm, I'm completely with you guys. I, as as someone who um, you know, about three, four years ago, who came with such promising talent, amazing swing bowling, you know, like Arpit said, good pace. Um, it just one too many shenanigans, just just too much. You know, Vijay just talked about that again and again in his piece, and he, you know, he just reiterated to me in my head that we just we, we can't deal with this. You know, we we want we want cricketers. We don't want players who have uh, all these extravagant you, you know stories that 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 kind of derail their talent so on that note i think i think we've summed up this this topic pretty well and and, and it's just let you know we'll just have to wait out and see what happens to them um let me move to the next topic and you know with ipl going on no one's focusing on on test cricket which is a shame and i am i'm still a believer in test cricket i i, I follow um, test cricket all the time no matter who's playing but you know there is this um, case of England versus New Zealand going on in England. Granted that it's uh, in the middle of IPL, but it's a preface to the Ashes, Bharat. So let me go to you and ask you: Do you care about this series, I, or is it just one of those things which has to be played for revenue? Uh, I honestly haven't been following it at all, uh, and, and even even on our you know beloved Quick Info page, it's kind of lost in in a whole bunch of things going on. Uh, but but also this this I, the spot fixing controversy, uh, you know, all this has just pu pushed the series into the back burner. Um, so no, I don't think a lot of people are following it. I, I doubt it if people in England are following it. 
So, uh, Vijay, what does this do to test cricket? I mean, is it because of IPL that this is going on? Uh, and if that's the case, should they have been? Should this series have been scheduled? Um, I have my doubts about the 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 context and the usefulness of bilateral series. Um, you know, I mean, like a lot of it has to do with branding, the way you brand a lot of these events. And um, I mean, like we talked about this the other day. I mean, the Ashes sort of like you know is a brand that's accrued value over the past hundred years. Um, you know, they tried doing something very similar after the India Australia series of two thousand one, where you know India Australia the Border Gavaskar Trophy became a big bit of a bit of a big deal. But then even that is sort of like you know, I mean, it's not really you know, it's 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 the distinction between old money and new money. It's it's almost right. as if you know, I mean, um, new series like that. I mean, they haven't yet. Uh, Got a defined sense of identity yet? Um, the thing about these sort of series is that um, they are not going to really capture the interest of the masters when the IPL um, is on. And by masters, I mean I really mean you know the, the viewing public. Right. Um, I think yeah, the IPL is responsible to an extent, but on the other hand, if you have a marquee series, right? I think uh, that would I mean they they would obviously not you know. Schedule it, you know, in a way that clashes with the IPL. So right. So, uh, it, it, along the same con uh, context, where we're talking about whether or not a test should, should should this entire IPL block should should it be completely blocked from any other international cricket? I mean, that that's yay or nay. And if you think so, that you're putting a very high price on this new money that we just talked about, where you're saying IPL is it is you know screw all other test cricket. Uh, we don't care about the history. We only care about the short term right now, which is money from IPL. I think there should be a, I mean, the way IPL is going, I think that there is, for the foreseeable future, you need a window, right? Uh, it, I mean, it, it, it's, just, it's just the nature of the beast. I mean, it is a beast right now. And uh, this, I mean, if there is EC England Cricket Board who is saying we don't care about IPL, but then there are other teams and other players who have come openly out and say that IPL is kind of their bread and butter because if, what if they don't get selected for test team? Even they're good. Uh, they, they want to play the IPL. They want to be part of something that's upcoming. And I don't see anything wrong in that. Uh, do, should we have a calendar blocked out for that? I mean, it's, it's, I don't think the ICC can do anything about it. But if, if, I was, if I were to make a call, I would say, yeah, we should block it out so every Everyone is happy. I mean, it, I know it clashes with England summer, but maybe you can rotate IPL window also. Like if you're playing in South Africa for the next season in IPL, you just don't play it May, April, May or something. You just put a calendar around that like they have with the future tours program with everything. So it becomes part of the window because I don't think any other league for the foreseeable future is going to take place of IPL. Uh, those are my two cents. Uh, that's a good point. I mean, for me, yeah, the reason that I got interested in this because I obviously growing up in England, I closely follow English cricket and English leagues. Um, and and my and my take was, guys, this is excellent cricket going on. There's a lot of good talent in these two teams. You know, you're talking about James Anderson just took a five for yesterday. England got bowled out for two forty. You know, it, you got got young guys, Kane Williamson doing well. These are real talent guys. It, it, you know, I just I'm afraid that you know as 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 people who grew up watching Test Cricket, like us, the four of us, we will start shielding away from this and not following Test Cricket and, and look at IPL and all the entertainment and, and all this hoo-ha, this sledging that's I going disagree. on. I disagree. I think the death of Test Cricket is overrated. I think, I mean, the you know, I mean, news of its demise is overrated. I, I really don't think Test Cricket is going anywhere. If anything, um, IPL has put in stark relief the need for Test Cricket, the value that we know, some of us attach to Test Cricket, I think, it's just gone up. I mean, there's, there's all kinds of reactions, I'm sure, but, you know, test cricket is not going to die out or it's not going to, you know, I mean, it's not going to, like, subside. I mean, interest in that. I think part of the deal, what the, the interesting point that Vish is making is really that, you know, are we seeing IPL as an internationalist sort of event, you know, where it's essential that it includes people from all teams all over the world? You know, I mean, you have, you know, I mean, guys like, you know, talents like Kane Williamson, okay, Williamson and, you know, a lot of the other, other guys. I mean, James Anderson. Yeah, Joe Root. Root. I mean, Joe Root, I mean, he's a bit of a, he's a bit, he's, he probably would fit into uh, T20 well. Right. Um, 
it's it's a, it's a case of you know i mean like seeing you know ipl as a sort of representative representative event you know that you know the bangladesh league for example wouldn't manage to do or you know any other league you know maybe even south africa you know all these places I and mean, they haven't really got to that point but it's you know it's the it's the value that we place on new money that's really sort of like you know i mean india is the big you know is a big place for uh, you know t20 cricket at the moment and the ipl is you know obviously doing incredibly well right right um, and and as as a finishing point um let me just wrap up with bharat bharat i mean this after this series is obviously the ashes as a cricket watcher you're more interested in the ashes than this england new zealand series yeah or nay um yes uh, absolutely yeah so you still have that you still have that test cricket interest even if there was ipl going on and you had ashes going on at the same time uh i i would really uh, you know left to me i would get rid of uh, bilateral series altogether and have a, a long term uh, you know uh, world cup for test um and everything else can go on they did try that with the asian thing but i don't think it really succeeded it wasn't able to you know it it's a it's a, a logistical nightmare yeah uh, right um, I mean that that that's 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 a whole new topic, and we can spend probably a whole show j- just on that. Um, but but I I mean you know I I just thought I'll, I'll 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 you know pitch it to you guys and see what you think because obviously um, you know there is other cricket going on. It's just that no one's focusing right now uh, on anything but the IPL. Um, I I think those were two great discussions, guys. What I'll do now is I have some. Um, Three, three, three questions in my head, which, which I'm just going to pitch to you guys, and I just want true or false, and if so, uh, why? Um, between the first one, Arpit, I'll start with you. Between Mumbai Indians and 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 Chennai Super Kings, I think Chennai Super Kings will win the IPL. Yay or nay? Yeah. And I think I, I think I think they were more balanced all round side. Uh, Vijay. Uh, I hope. Uh, I mean, I have a stake in both Mumbai and Madras because I, I grew up in Bombay, and you know, I mean, uh, but I think Mumbai is going to win. I actually think Mumbai is going to win. I hope uh, Chennai wins, but I think Mumbai is going to win. Bharat, of course, you're going to be partial, but give me a good answer. I I, I concur with Vijay. I think uh, I think Mumbai Indians have a good chance, uh, but I hope CSK wins. Right. Okay. Well, well next question, uh, Vijay. Uh, Jamie Anderson just took uh, his 300 wicket in Test cricket. But now, when you think of English bowlers, do you think of Jimmy Anderson as one of the top, yay or nay? Yes, absolutely. Bharat, what do you think? Uh, definitely, to swing so consistently at his pace, uh, he, he, yeah, definitely gets my bill. Arpit, what do you think? Yep, he's the king of swing. <laughs> Good answer. All right, and if you had, if you had, let's say, six, sixty runs to take. Uh, to win in four overs, you had the choice between Dhoni, Pollard, and Gale. Vijay, who would you take? Dhoni, absolutely. I mean, Dhoni. I think he he defies form. That's the thing about Dhoni. MS Dhoni defies form. He will get you there almost always. I mean, I'm not saying he'll, he'll do it 100% of the time, but form would sort of imply that you know you do it 50% of the time or something when you when you're doing well. This guy will probably get you there 75% of the time. Arpit, Pollard just. Chased 18 four overs. Do would you take him over Dhoni and uh, Gale? Uh, I definitely not Gale because Gale mostly when he has performed, he has always been performing uh, when he has been batting first. Uh, Dhoni has been a proven performer, chasing big totals like all through his career. So I would and Pollard, yeah, Pollard is good, but uh, he has not been a consistent performer. So I would go for Dhoni. Although Pollard has matured over the past year, right. Bharat, that knock by Pollard was something else. Would you take him over Dhoni? I would take him for two overs and Dhoni for the last two. <laughs> I don't want Dhoni for four full overs because uh, the first two overs anyway will go wasted. That's <laughs> that's that actually a very good point. All right, guys. I I mean that kind of wraps up the show for me. Um, I, I again it was it was very informative, um, very concise, and I thought we did a good job. Again, I. We didn't do the contest last week, guys. But um, what I'm going to do is uh, have it this week. Basically, we'll have a caption um, contest. The winner of the caption contest gets to join us uh, next week for our show. Uh, be sure to like us on Facebook. We are along the seam. Our blog is uh, alongtheseam.wordpress.com. And and lastly, please share and let us know if you have any comments about anything or any of the topics that you want to see. 
Uh, on that note, I'll call it a day. Uh, thank you, Arpit. Thank you, Bharat. Thank you, Vijay. Thank Thanks. you all.